my goodness! <laughs> so, today we're gonna have a discussion. This is going to be a discussion video and we're gonna talk about my early impressions of Fatalis. But before that, one, I'm a little under the weather. So, I might sniffle just a bit. Also, before we actually get to the hunt with Fatalis, we actually hunt another Elatrion. And at first, my mind was blown, and I'm like, are they really going to make us do this? Now, Elatrion isn't an issue for me per se anymore, but it's still an issue for many other players. And guess what? This specific Elatrion at on this specific special assignment is nerfed not the regular event quest for a latron that that's still fine that's still the way it was before but um it 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 did it got nerfed like it, it, it nerfed so there's that um is this bad no i think this is actually i think this is really good and um I'll, I'll say that because the fact that um a lot of people are still having trouble with this monster and then how you can just hop into this quest well this special assignment and get an easy kill on a latrion and i actually got <laughs> look at what i carved off of it like that's like that's pretty much free that that's free so now let's get into uh the meat and potatoes here fatalis first off castle shrade looks amazing i love this castle i always have the lighting here looks stupendous i love the dark the the dark shade of red in the sky it's it's just very ominous and it fits fatalis um especially you know OG Fatalis. So I think the atmosphere is perfect. It kind of reminds me of Dark Souls just a bit. Um, even with the music. Um, the remix or, you know, this rendition of Fatalis' theme is also really, really good. So the fight itself. I'll just say that early impressions, I'll say that the fight is really fucking fun i really like this fight and i think that this is the perfect be all end all if that is the case and i say that because if we're gonna get more arc tempered monsters um we might be in for more of a world of hurt later but um fatalis is definitely formidable and a lot of other top players of this game they struggled just a bit took them a little while but they beat him solo too but um he's he's kind of hard <laughs> he's kind of hard he's not impossible and i think the best way to sum this up is that this fight is not forgiving at all if i were to sum that up it's it's not super difficult but you make one mistake and you're probably dead now there's a lot of aoe bullshit i'll say that a lot of aoe's that fatalis does but much like a latrion a lot of these aoe's are very fair their hitboxes are very fair and eye framing them is uh it's not super hard to do you just need to know what you're doing so of course coming into this fight at first you're gonna get rocked you're gonna get molly whopped and you might get molly whopped for quite a bit but that's monster hunter you know and i feel like for the longest time players uh, like me who's just been playing for so long 
could kind of just steamroll through most monsters, you know? You may cart a couple of times, or maybe one or two times the first time. Then after that, you know, you, you, you have the monster down packed. But, um, for the most recent monsters, uh, Fatalis and especially even Elatrion, it's not quite the same. It's, you really have to put in the work to get better at these hunts. And I love that. And, um, like I said, a lot of his AoE bullshit is not that bad. And he also has a lot of moves he does that leaves him open. Um, you can see it coming from a mile away sometimes. So as long as you avoid it, you, you have, like, a lot of openings for Fatalis. Quite a lot of openings. And, um, I've only done the fight 30 times last night on stream. And, um... I made some progress, like, the first time I did it, I completely failed. I got obliterated. And then the second time I tried it, I made it past the first phase. And then I was able to actually invite people into the quest. And I actually really like the, the progression in this quest. It's really interesting. Um, I won't spoil the cutscene or anything. I want you guys to see that for yourself if you haven't already, <laughs> but I really, really like this, and um, yeah, I don't know how else to say that, like, I do need to do this hunt more because I haven't cleared it yet, you know, I kind of, yesterday kind of wasn't my night, and I was streaming, and I just said, you know, fuck it, I'm uh, gonna take a break. Uh, and I've been pretty busy lately, so on top of that, uh, PSO 2 Episode 5 just came out, so <laughs> I have a lot to, to, to work with right now, but um, yeah. I give this fight, as my first impressions, I'll give it, I'll give it an A+, plus, to be honest, because it's not, it doesn't seem gimmicky. Or as gimmicky as Alatrion. Alatrion was very gimmicky with <coughs> with that elemental stuff. I'm dying! <laughs> but yeah, very gimmicky with that. And um, even I, I didn't like that at first. Now that, that I've gotten used to it, it's not an issue. But yeah, the, the gimmick was real with that fight. So, but yeah, this... um. I, I like this fight a lot. Capcom, good fucking job. Um, there's so much more to cover in this update as well. But um, I think right now I'll focus on clearing this fight. <laughs> I need to clear Fatalis. And then it can all become so much more clearer to me. And um, yes, more fashion videos are happening. We have Master Rank layered sets now. And I can go full ham with the fashion. And that's what's going to happen. <laughs> so expect a lot more fashion videos. And um, next weapon guide. Um, yeah, maybe greatsword. I was thinking of doing greatsword. I was supposed to do that months ago. So Iceborne greatsword tips should be coming fairly soon. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Run! <laughs> oh, fuck. My skin's burning off. What the fuck? You know what? I gotta... No. No. Ah. Uh, shit it. No. That, that was the perfect opportunity to Waverns fire. And I goofed it. I gotta take a break. Commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just do it?